everyone, Wayne here over at Zenata. Today I'm just going to give a quick tutorial on how to set up security control and its importance. Uh, first, let's go to setup. And under users and control, security control. And once in here, you're going to see different profiles. Uh, these are the different roles you're going to set within your organization. Um, so here we don't have a sales team. So you're not going to want your sales team to probably be able to do a lot of things that you can do. So let's go ahead and show you how these uh, roles work within your organization. Let's go ahead and create a new profile. And we'll call this sales. And we'll go ahead and clone the administrator. And as you can see, admin, you're going to have everything turned on. I'm going to scroll back up here to the top and we'll kind of go through this. Um, so your sales team, you're going to want them to be able to view, create, and edit your leads, but you're probably not going to want to be able to delete them. You know, same will go with contacts and accounts. And you're going to want to keep these records, or if you want to get rid of them, it's going to be you, you know, the owner that makes this decision. So let's go ahead and disable those. And, you know, when we get down to reports, you know, you might not want them to be able to see everything. So let's go ahead and turn that off for them. And same with analytics, you know, maybe the products and campaigns and vendors. You know, maybe uh, we don't want them to be able to manage the folder, but they can create, edit, and view your documents. Um, and then, you know, import and export. You probably don't want them exporting, you know, all of your leads and contacts. And you probably don't want them importing either, you know, mass records and flooding your CRM. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. Uh, same goes with email permissions. You, they're going to be need to send emails and, you know, delete emails. But you probably don't want them sending a mass email, you know. And you may not even want them deleting emails either. So let's turn that off as well. Um, tool permissions, they don't need a mass update. Um you know, change owners, probably not. Mass transfer, no. They can convert. Um, do we want them to mass convert? Anything mass, you're generally going to want to have turned off. So and then on this other permissions with like find and merge, you know, this is just going to depend on what their roles are and if you actually want them to be able to merge or if you want, you know, an account manager to be doing that. I uh, so should probably turn this off for our sales team. And for the setup permissions you know this is going to be something that your admin is going to want to be in control of everything so you know for now i would probably recommend for your average user they don't need to access any of this and uh, there's a lot to go through here um, so just to make, keep things simple we just go ahead and turn this off and extension permissions as you can see everything else was turned off under the setup permissions it's kind of a mass shut off this would be for your your account managers you know or the higher ups within your company that you want to have access to this all right so once done now i'm going to show you a second cool little trick here um it's kind of like a bonus feature if we go into settings and we go into modules and let's say well, let's just go into leads you can go into any of these and we have our standard Let's go ahead and edit one of these mod module fields. So let's say uh, the lead source, you don't want your sales team seeing where they're coming from. So you can actually disable them from being able to see lead source or whatever fields you don't think that they need to see. Thank you for watching.